Hello? Hey. He looks happy to me. I hope he stays this happy when he wakes up. <laughs> Why wouldn't he? No reason. I'll have a lot of catching up to do, I guess. I'll bring him up to date. How up to date? All the way up. Uh, and nothing could change your mind? Well, it would take a hell of a lot, because a friend is something you earn. Okay, Jerry has a friend who has free tickets to the Cayman Islands this weekend. He's not going. <laughs> is that a... Uh... Drake's coffee cake. <laughs> oh. Where did you get that? Oh, my house. I got a whole box of them. Boy, that's the full size. That's your big boy. Can I have a bite? I don't want to give out bites. I got another one, but I'm saving it for later. When I first began showing the single combined image several decades ago, the reaction I received from some was one of hostile ridicule, suggesting that I was imagining the connections. This assertion was soon quietly dropped, without apology, after I revealed more of the connections that my critics had apparently missed. The initial bribe to Newman to remain silent on Jerry's relationship with Martin's girlfriend Gina is a free trip to the Cayman Islands. While Newman declines this offer, it is a fact that the very first Englishman to visit the Cayman Islands was Sir Francis Drake during his 1585 to 1586 voyage that came to be known as the Caribbean Raid. It was Drake himself who named the islands Cayman after the Neo-Taino nation's word for crocodile based on how many were spotted in the area. But lo, there's more. When Jerry states that he has another Drake's coffee cake but is saving it for later, this is a clear reference to Drake's nephew of the very same name, Francis Drake, first baronet. That younger Drake had compiled his uncle's journal and notes from priest Francis Fletcher into the 1628 publication, The World Encompassed by Sir Francis Drake. This was the first detailed account of that circumnavigation. In continuing to reveal more, I showed that the episode was aired on 29 January 1992, just one day after the anniversary of Big Boy Sir Francis Drake's 1596 death from dysentery in Portobello, Panama. Finally, I demonstrated that Seinfeld was kind enough to repeat the message two episodes later, on 12 February 1992, in the episode entitled The Boyfriend. This time the reference hints at Drake's semi-confirmation of Magellan's Giants of Patagonia. I'd really like to have sex with a tall woman. I mean, really tall, like a, like a giant. Like 6'5". Really? What was the tallest woman you ever slept with? I don't know, 6'3". Wow! Oh, God! <laughs> See, this is all I think about, sleeping with a giant. It's my life's ambition. So I guess it's fair to say you've set different goals for yourself than, say, Thomas Edison, Magellan, these types of people. Magellan? You like Magellan? Oh, yeah, my favorite explorer. Around the world, come on. Who do you like? I like DeSoto. DeSoto? What did he do? He discovered the Mississippi. Oh, yeah, like I wouldn't have found that anyway. 